Thank you so much, Karen. Really excited for this ne next demo. We have Finicity. And if you aren't familiar with Finicity, uh, they're developing an open banking platform with some awesome applications for the, for the mortgage industry. Um, at HW Media, we recently launched a new media brand called FinLedger, where we're covering the, the bank tech and insure tech and prop tech space. And Finicity keeps popping up on our radar. So I'm personally really excited to see this demo today and learn everything that, that Mike is gonna share us share with us. So before I pass the, the mic to Mike, uh, let me give a quick introduction to Finicity. COVID-19 has spurred rapid acceleration of all things digital, and the mortgage industry is no exception. Consumers are demanding better experiences in real time that keep pace with the constantly changing environment. Finicity provides a proven and trusted open banking platform that enables digital experiences for the mortgage industry and puts consumers in control of their financial data transforming the way we experience money. Mike, really excited to, to see this demo today. The, the virtual stage is yours. Awesome, Clayton, can you hear me okay? Yep, loud and clear, sounds great. Perfect, thanks. Let me see if I can get my video on here real quick. Awesome, yeah, well, uh, while you get the video up, I just confirming we can see the, the next gen mortgage experience background well, and uh, really excited for you to dig in and uh, see you now. Awesome, thank you. All right, well, today's message is really about the unique opportunity that today's market conditions have created uh, for lenders and, and why we're so excited about that. We, we've got this quote here from William Gibson, uh, the future is here, but it's not evenly distributed. Uh, so we're gonna talk about that today um, as it relates to the, the unique opportunities that we have uh, in implementing our digital strategies. Uh, so today's uh, customer experience, um, we've talked a lot about uh, digital innovation, uh, rolling out um, digital strategies. Uh, I was reading a Harvard Business Review and something stood out. It, it said, uh, since 2000, 52% of Fortune 500 companies have gone bankrupt, uh, been acquired or ceased to exist because they failed, to, failed the digital disruption challenge. Uh, the quote is from 2017, but it's especially relevant today. Uh, the digital revolution has been expedited by today's unique market conditions. Uh, Starbucks uh, allows you to order your coffee through the app and pick it up curbside. Uh, restaurants who aren't plugged into popular apps or offering online ordering uh, are struggling. Uh, in our industry, we've seen drive through closings and increased adoption of online application tools. Uh, so we're going to dial in on why real-time data is so critical and important, especially today. Uh, and how Finicity's verification services offer more accurate and streamlined solutions uh, required to meet today's borrower's expectations. 76% uh, of consumers think that companies should understand their expectations and needs, and 86% of consumers said they should have more insight and control over the personal financial information lenders use to determine their credit worthiness when taking out new credit or a loan. Uh, in addition to meeting uh, the consumer's expectations, it's now more important than ever to have a clear view of a borrower's real-time financial data. Uh, quoting Dr. Uh, McKinsey, she said, the six or 12 month old data on which lenders relied in the past uh, were no longer useful in evaluating the resilience of an individual borrower. Uh, creative approaches to acquire and utilize high frequency data are the order of the day. Uh, today with things changing so rapidly, the, the more real-time the data, the better the insights and benefits to the, to the lender. Uh, digital first lenders are succeeding uh, in the current market. Uh, digital first lenders handle elasticity 50% better than traditional lenders. Uh, Finicity, we've seen this translate to 27% more originations for digital lenders in February and March. Uh, digitization allows for organic growth by allowing borrowers to move at their own pace uh, with minimal guidance. Uh, in this process, the LO acts as the SME to, to guide cons customers rather than act as a paper chaser. Access to real-time bank validated data allows lenders to make informed decisions and clearly understand the borrower's qualifications, shortening the apply to close timeframe. Uh, Finicity is a leading provider of digital verification solutions uh, and we're the only provider who's registered as a CRA today. Uh, offering our solutions as a CRA allows us to do a couple of things. One is ensure that reports are generated uh, and used for a specific permissible purpose. Uh, two, allows uh, lenders uh, to work within the same regulatory frameworks they've already established for pulling credit. Uh, and the third is that it allows us to support uh, consumer FCRA rights, including file disclosure uh, and dispute processing. 
so the same way that uh, I, as a consumer, can request to see a, a free credit report annually, uh, consumers can come to Finicity directly and request to see what reports we've generated on their behalf. And if they feel that like there's in, any inaccuracies in those reports, they can file disputes with Finicity uh, directly. Um, Finicity offers its solutions via a set of flexible APIs. So this allows our customers to consume our, our products and services directly or to leverage our seamless integrations with leading LOS and POS platforms. Uh, we also coordinate directly with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac to offer solutions that meet the market's needs and qualify for day one certainty uh, and AIM programs. I'm going to go ahead and run through uh, a quick demo of what the user experience looks like and how we facilitate uh, borrower uh, authentication to their accounts and, and the providing the information we need to verify uh, income and, and employment. Uh, so initially, we're going to go ahead and start by asking the borrower to agree to our terms and conditions. Uh, from here, they can go ahead and upload uh, their most recent pay stub. After submitting that pay stub, we're going to ask them to go ahead and authenticate to their financial institutions where that pay stub is deposited. Uh, so for now, I'm going to go ahead and get started with Wells Fargo. Uh, they'll provide their username and their password. Uh, we'll connect to the institution in live time uh, and then ask them if they deposit any portion of that paycheck to another financial institution. Uh, in this case, we'll say yes, and we'll, we'll go with Chase. Uh, now we present all accounts, uh, discovered each of those financial institutions to the borrower uh, and ask them uh, if, if any, what, which, which accounts uh, their paycheck was deposited. So they can go ahead and check through uh, those accounts and submit. Uh, and then that completes uh, the, the verification of income and employment borrower experience. Uh, from there, Finicity will begin generating a verification of income and employment report um, on the back end uh, and make that available to our customer e either via API or through the point of sale or loan origination system uh, that they've decided uh, to use. Uh, just running through some of the metrics in the report here, uh, we're able to extract gross pay and net pay uh, from the pay stub. We're able to confirm that the net pay from the pay stub matches uh, the transaction amount from the checking account, uh, verifying income, uh, and then we're able to provide the name of the employer uh, from the pay stub verifying uh, employment. Uh, in addition to net and gross, uh, there's also a number of other metrics and, and data uh, typically broken out in the pay stub that we're also able to provide here uh, within the report. Uh, the report's available in a couple of different uh, frameworks. So here we have the human readable PDF uh, in case a processor or loan officer needs to pick it up and put eyes on it. Uh, but it's also available in XML and JSON to facilitate uh, machine processes and mapping of data to the 1003. Uh, Finicity offers a one-stop one comprehensive solution for assets, income, and employment verifications. Uh, our reports are generated with high-quality data from structured data sources direct from banks and pay stubs, uh, and then cross-verified to reduce uh, fraud. These solutions are designed to drop seamlessly into your existing borrow experience. Uh, so whether uh, you manage that experience yourself or, or you partner, uh, this solution can, can drop in uh, to support you. Uh, digital verifications is a great initial step in digitizing your mortgage process. Uh, the time and cost savings are significant just from this alone. Uh, we've seen six day savings for digital verification of assets uh, and an additional three days saved uh, when income and employment is added to that flow as well. Uh, COVID is providing an opportunity for all lenders to accelerate their digitization strategy. Uh, successful implementation of that strategy requires a holistic approach uh, with leadership buy-in and team accountability. Uh, the change is more cultural than technical and requires changing the mindset of the organization. Uh, MIT professor Deborah Ancona said, without laying a strong foundation for culture and aligning employees to a digital vision, it will be extremely difficult to make any meaningful progress on digital transformations. Loan officers must see the value to themselves, but also their borrowers, and then become experts in talking about the solution. Uh, I was speaking to the CEO of one of our early VOA uh, adopters and customers, and he talked to me about their, their transition from manual processes uh, to a fully digital verification of asset solution. Uh, so we worked really closely together to align every technical aspect uh, of the solution. Uh, we reviewed every component of the borrower experience, 
um, every uh, place where the loan officers had, had touch points with the solution. Uh, and then after all of that careful consideration, we, we rolled it out and, and launched the solution uh, and saw almost no adoption. Um, so from there, conducting a full review with this team, um, loan officers voiced concerns that their borrowers weren't comfortable with the new process. Uh, so being able to see beyond the voice concerned, uh, the leadership team provided scripts for loan officers to prepare them to explain the added operational and security benefits uh, digital process provided to borrowers uh, and help the loan officers see alignment on how this is going to help them be more proficient in, in their own responsibilities. Uh, after providing the scripts and training, adoption uh, immediately began to climb uh, and closing time shortened. Uh, since then, Finicity has seen the benefit of partnering with our customers and implementing uh, a full digital strategy, uh, providing training to loan officers, um, helping them to overcome borrower objections and questions, which, which rightfully they, they may have. Um, quoting the financial brand, uh, because the financial marketplace is, is rewarding digital organizations, there's a greater need to find partners who can provide the solutions that can be implemented quickly and integrated easily. Uh, this is a, a prime example of a solution that can be dropped easily into your existing process and, and provide an immediate lift. Uh, coming back to this quote from, from Deborah uh, Ancona, uh, we encourage you all to be very thoughtful as organizations and how you choose to implement your digital strategy and how to take advantage of today's unique opportunities uh, as it relates to um, growing market share through digitization and facilitating the borrower experience. So we move pretty quickly, um, which I think leaves us time for, for questions. Absolutely. I am here to help you with that, Mike. Um, <laughs> all right. So we always talk about adoption rates within the lending industry when it comes to digital. Um, but what kind of adoption are you seeing on the consumer side and like is there a certain comfort level in adopting the digital solutions or are they more comfortable, less comfortable? What's the, what's the gist? Yeah, it, it, it's, um, it's a great question. So we, we get this question uh, lots of times from um, loan officers or, or folks on the operational side of really what is, what is a, a, you know, a borrower's comfort level uh, with providing uh, their, their bank information and going through this process. Um, so, you know, more than uh, one in four Americans is already leveraging this technology in their cell phone uh, today. So if you think about uh, money movement processes, whether that's Cash App or that's Venmo or that's, uh, you know, whatever the solution is, um, or your personal financial management platform, uh, this is the same technology. It's just been leveraged in a new way uh, to facilitate uh, the lending experience. Uh, so. Uh, key questions that we, we, we hear from borrowers, is this process uh, secure? Um, what's done with my data? Uh, so being able to talk about, um, you know, Finicity offering bank level security, uh, that this is going to improve the experience, uh, shorten closing times by six days. Um, those are all the questions that the borrowers and loan officers uh, typically have uh, and the incentives that they need to, to feel comfortable moving forward uh, with adoption. Uh, so uh, adoption differs uh, slightly depending on um, how well aligned the organization is in rolling out their digital strategy uh, and in preparing their loan officers to, to adopt new solutions. Awesome. Um, what is the most important thing I should be looking for when it comes to prospective digital solutions partners and vendors? Um, you mentioned your CRA status. Is that like really a big deal? Yeah, great question. Um, so, our status as a CRA or a consumer reporting agency um, is really what we view as required to, to a, a allow a lender to use this type of, of solution um, within compliance. So uh, talking about the Fair Credit Reporting Act uh, and, and borrower's rights, um, those come down to a couple of things. One, you know, Finicity is able to track a permissible purpose of every report that we, we generate. You know, why is the data being pulled? For what purpose is it being leveraged? Um, Aside from that, uh, file disclosure, consumers always have that transparency to come to Finicity directly and request to see uh, what uh, data has been provided and, and to whom it's been provided. Uh, aside from that, um, we also have the ability to, to field uh, disputes. So all of those things allow us to support lenders in, in referencing our reports and adverse actions. So, um, you know, we determined not to extend a loan um, and it, it's because of findings that we had in this particular report. Uh, so those are a, a number of the advantages and, and that we think will continue to be 
um, standing differentiators as the industry moves forward and gets more comfortable with leveraging uh, alternative data, but within the same existing regulatory frameworks. Awesome. Um, let's see, we're so much coming in hot now. Um, going back <laughs> to the beginning of your demo, um, I think this is talking about the initial like information gathering. What incentive? What incentivizes a borrower to provide the information that they do up front? I think like going back to the beginning. Yeah, great question. So this is where uh, it, it's really important uh, to get alignment with the loan officers and understanding um, the benefits to them, but also to, to the borrowers. So uh, as loan officers are able to act as a SME in guiding borrowers through the experience and explain to them, um, you're going to have the opportunity to digitally upload your data. Uh, that means that it won't be um, manually entered into any platforms. Uh, it's going to be fast-tracked through our, our platforms and processes, uh, and we're going to allow you to close uh, six days earlier. Uh, that in addition to um, being able to answer questions as it relates to uh, security uh, and, and Finicity's um, status as, as a preferred partner um, are, are, are all of the, the points that you know, we hear our, our customers using to, to help borrowers feel comfortable moving through that experience. Awesome. Um, what have you seen as the average time to integrate and the average time to implement into the business from a lender's point of view? Uh, yeah, that's a great question. Um, so th that can that can vary uh, depending on how our customer wants to partner with us. Um, we have a number of customers that manage their full technology stack, including the borrower experience, uh, and we become just a component of that where they take Finicity Connect, uh, they plug it into their user experience, uh, they then work through the process of pulling reports from Finicity via API, um, and, and that can take, you know, um, you know, uh, four weeks is probably fairly, uh, fairly typical, though we've seen it done faster. We've seen organizations take longer. Um, we've also uh, worked hard, my team has worked hard to integrate our solutions into uh, leading loan origination systems and point of sale systems uh, so that it can be as simple as configuring an additional option in your 1003 workflow uh, and turning that live. So in that case, typically we see um, working through just contracting and, and typical onboarding, uh, being the long pole in the tent, uh, and then working through training with uh, the teams to help them feel comfortable with the new technology solutions. I love it. Um, all right, I think we have time for one or two more. Um, I think this is a good question, maybe. Um, can you share any new and exciting features coming to the platform in the near term? Anything we should be on the lookout for? Uh, yeah, great question. So um, verification of income and, and employment uh, as, as a solution is, is kind of the, the hottest thing that we have going on uh, right now. Uh, so love to, to coordinate calls with anybody interested, uh, speak to you more about how you can begin consuming a verification of income and employment solution uh, in addition to the asset solution that we've had in market for a while. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Mike. This has been super interesting, super timely, obviously. Um, I'm going to bring back Clayton so we can move on to our next. Oh, and don't forget, if you're interested in hearing more about Finicity and all of their platforms, select yes, please, on the poll we just popped up. Awesome. Thanks so much. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Finicity. Um, and judging by the number of questions we saw come in during that demo, I think a lot of people are going to be clicking yes on this one. So, Mike, thank you so much for an engaging and informative uh, demo. But now it's time. We're going to keep kicking forward in our business intelligence session. 